everyone. Guess where I am? So I'm here in Iceland, amazingly, and I'm here with one of my very favorite people and my favorite Icelandic herbalist, Anna Rosa, founder of Anna Rosa Skincare. And guess what's in front of us? Angelica! Oh my gosh, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> so I don't know if I've ever eaten Angelica seeds from Iceland straight off. So what? What? what a, tell me about Angelica. How do you use this? I use it for sorts of things. I use it a lot in teas. It's nice tasting. Mm -hmm. Try it. Okay. Quite pungent. Is this a good one right here? Yeah, yep. Okay. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Pretty strong, huh? It's strong mm. and pungent mm. and delicious. I have to, let me bring this over so you can see it nice and up close. There we are. So the thing is, for herbalist, don't, don't destroy my drying racks, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so herbalists usually only use the root of Angelica. Right. That's what you can buy from all suppliers. Mm -hmm. Whereas I totally changed that idea when I started practicing here in Iceland because it was so much hard work to take up the root. And I thought there must be some enough uh, <laughs> active ingredients in the sea. So I just started using them and they worked equally the same. So wow. you don't destroy the herbs. Much mm. more easier to pick. It's Angelica all over Iceland. But it still was hard work to, to dig up the root. But no leaves and, and stem? The, leaves, really? The seeds? Just only the seeds. Only and the that's seeds. all I do. I just dry lots and lots. and I don't just dry it. I tincture it fresh as well mm. uh, for my tinctures, uh, which are on the market here. And then I use that a lot in tea. Mm. But the thing is, just use the seeds. But you, can never, you can't buy them anywhere. I don't, I don't know of any suppliers actually supplying seeds like this mm. for medicine. So it's my own invention as such. Your own invention. I love it. It really works. Mm. I've been using them for about 30, 25 years now, like that. They do work. No. I mean, I sell a lot of them too, so there's something in them, definitely. You don't need the root. That is fantastic. Thanks so much for sharing that. <laughs> She's also been really busy gathering all of this meadow sweet, which is so impressive and <laughs> so wonderful. So tell us about Tell us about meadow sweet. And wait, I'm gonna show you some meadow sweet. So this beautiful dry meadow sweet. But tell us all about it. I'm very lucky that if you go to the south of Iceland, it's literally covered, as in completely covered with meadow sweet. It's just like a gigantic chemist, basically, in my view. Nobody else thinks of it like that, of course. But it's it's very handy because it takes you like two hours to, to pick enough for the whole winter or something wow. like that. It's, it's just ridiculous amount of meadow sweet everywhere. And at home, we're you know hunting around to just find any meadow sweet, depending on where yeah, you live. Both so, north, same thing. Very, very little of it there, but yeah. in the south, and we are in the south here, so it's it's um, it's very easy for me to pick it. Mm. And so what I do with it, I mean, it's generally used as an anti-inflammatory internally. But what I found when I started working in Iceland, I didn't have a lot of the herbs I was used to work with mm -hmm. in, in England when I was studying and after I started practicing there. And so I started looking at old Icelandic texts and they were actually using it externally in the ointments. Mm -hmm. And nobody really is doing that today. Interesting. So I started doing that and uh, I make a fresh infused, uh, fresh, use the fresh herb in, in infused oil. So I make for the whole winter. Mm -hmm. Like I sell a lot of it, and it's all made from fresh meadow sweet. And do you sell the oil, or do you make no, it into no, a cream? I make it, I make it into a balm called the uh, Bliss Healing Balm okay. because that's what it gives Whoa. you. Oh, amazing! And it has basically I've been selling that for about fifteen years, and it's been doing extraordinary things. And most of it is thanks to meadow sweet, which oh. nobody else is using in ointment just like that. There you go. Just the natural thing. That's amazing. <laughs> well. Thank you so much for sharing Meadow Sweet, Icelandic Meadow Sweet with us. And you have to check out some of these new uses for it. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hey everyone, this is Mason with Herb Alley. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And while you're at it, give us a subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you didn't know, Herb Rally has a podcast. Uh, we have hundreds of episodes ranging from 60 seconds all the way up to three and a half hours or so. Um, we've got lectures, recorded lectures from conferences. Uh, we have narrated monographs, you name it. If you want to learn more, go ahead and go to herbrally.com slash podcast or search for us in any podcast player, Spotify, iTunes, whatever, whatever player you use. If you want more herbal content, go ahead and check out this video or this video. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.